It's 6 p.m. in the evening and the tired one Somali herders are returning their herds of cattle back to their pen for the evening as uncertainty looms. The Somali ranchers who claim they leased thousands of acres to graze their livestock evading the harsh climatic conditions experienced in Northeastern now are left pondering on the loss of millions of shillings in investments if the forceful eviction order to vacate the ranches is implemented. Through the lawyer Innocent Muganda, the ranchers moved to court under the Certificate of Urgency, claiming their rights to protection and equality were violated and the order of eviction was discriminatory since it targeted persons of Somali descent only. The ranchers also claim apart from the ranches they had leased, they still owned homes and ran businesses in Voi and the locals they have employed would be rendered jobless. Kwa kweli tunafuga ngombe, tunafuga ngamia, tunafuga mbuzi, tunafuga kondoo, tunafuga wanyama ambao tunauza kwa wanyama kwa kama hizi ambazo zina, zinakulika kwa Mauritius. But the Kenya Wildlife Services and the Kenya Police want the Somali ranchers whose land is close to Omboseli National Park to vacate, claiming they were involved in poaching. KWS also claims the relocation of the ranchers back to Mandera or Garissa would solve this problem. This has, however, been denied by the Somali ranchers who insist that they are not involved in illegal activities in the park and they interact cordially with the KWS wardens while on patrol. They maintain they also alert the wardens on any illegal activities. The case will be heard on 23rd May this year when Justice David Majanja is expected to give directions. Winnie Kamau reporting for KTN.